In this tutorial, we will demonstrate the Modbus TCP communication on the Titan servo controller. Here we have a Titan SVX ETH controller and a brushless three-phase motor using a 48 volt power supply. First, let's connect the USB and confirm that the communication is working. Next, let's connect the Ethernet communication and go to the configuration screen and set the IP address of the Titan. Here you can manually enter the IP address value or you can use the automatic IP address generator, which is what we will use. Let's download the new settings and store to the flash and perform the power cycle for the new IP address to take effect. Before we test the Modbus TCP, let's confirm that the IP address is set correctly and the Ethernet communication is working properly using the Titan ASCII protocol. Let's go back to the communication setup screen and go to the protocol and ID setup screen. Confirm that the Ethernet communication is set to Titan ASCII. Download and skip the saving to the flash option since we will be changing back to the Modbus TCP later. Now let's go to the Ethernet communication screen and use the automatic IP address, which by the way should be the same values as the ones set in the configuration screen. Also, you can manually enter the IP address here as well. Now, let's perform the communication check and confirm that the Ethernet is communicating properly using the Titan ASCII protocol. Now, since we have confirmed that the Ethernet hardware is working and communicating properly, Let's set the Ethernet protocol to the Modbus TCP. Go back to the protocol and ID setup screen and set the Ethernet communication protocol to Modbus TCP. Let's also set the 32-bit register format as the signed Big Indian. Download the new protocol. Now the Ethernet should be communicating in the Modbus TCP protocol. For testing the Modbus communication, we will use the free Modbus master test program called Modbus Poll Program. Go to the communication menu and select connect. Select Modbus TCP slash IP. Here the IP address should be the same as the one that we set up on the Titan controller and the communication port should be set to 5000. Let's open up the setup file that we created before that monitors all the registers using the function 3. There are a total of 32 registers of 16-bit data. Since we are using the 32-bit signed Big Indian, we will set the format as 32-bit register Big Indian and read the total of 16 32-bit registers. Let's manually rotate the motor and see that the position counter changes at address 0, which is the encoder counter. Now let's set the motor speed, acceleration, jerk, and the profile type using the Modbus function 16. We know that the speed starts from address 2, acceleration from address 4, jerk from address 6, and profile type from address 8. We will set the format to 32-bit signed Big Indian. Let's set the speed to 500, acceleration to 2000, jerk to 10,000, and profile type to 2, which is the S-curve profile. Let's download the values and get the confirmation. Now, let's go to the single coil setting function of 5. We know that coil 104 is servo on. So let's turn on the servo by turning on the coil. We can servo off by turning off the coil 104 or use coil 105 to turn off the servo. With the servo on, let's do some jogging commands. We know that coil 101 is jog plus. So let's jog the motor in the positive direction by turning on coil 101. We can see that the motor is jogging and the encoder register shows the encoder counter. We can stop by turning off the coil 101. Let's jog the motor in the minus direction using the coil 102. We can see that the motor is rotating in the minus direction and the encoder position counter value is decreasing. Let's stop by turning off the coil 102. In this tutorial video, we were able to show how to set up the Modbus TCP protocol and perform some simple register reading and writing as well as turning on and off the coils. I hope that this tutorial was helpful in demonstrating the Modbus communication. For detailed information on the Modbus functions and addresses, 
please refer to the Modbus communication manual. If you have any questions, please send an email to support at arcaservo.com.